I know that sometimes the thought of going to an airport can just be one big bundle of stress, but I'm gonna tell you right now, don't stress because I got you. This is how I get ready super fast for a flight and I still feel like a human when I get on that plane. First things first, I'm brushing my teeth because I don't wanna kill the person sitting next to me with my dragon breath. After that, I'm going to be washing my face with my dew puff and this is an awesome natural sponge that's made from a plant and you just put it under water and it gets super cool and squishy and then I just take a little bit of my face cleanser, put that on the dew puff and then you wash your face and you just move it around in circular motions, scrub it up dubbing, and that's pretty much it. You just rinse everything off, rinse off your dew puff, and hang it up to dry. Instead of regular moisturizer, I'm gonna be using the Liani Echo 3-in-1 Revolution Light. This stuff is awesome and perfect for travel because it's basically a toner and serum and moisturizer all in one, so you don't have to do all of those steps. You just put this on and you'll be ready to go even faster. And it's natural, it's vegan, and it's super great for oily skin as well because it's not going to leave you feeling greasy but your skin is going to be hydrated. And then it's time for some deodorant and do not forget this because the people sitting next to you are going to love you if you wear deodorant because the world is just a better place when you're on a plane and you don't smell BO. Alrighty, now makeup is always optional but if you decide you want to wear it on a plane, I would recommend keeping it really simple so I am starting off with my Laura Mercier primer and I like using this when I want to feel refreshed and when you're on a plane that's exactly how you want to feel. Early morning flights are always a little bit painful, so I'm going to be using the Sonia Kashuk Liquid Light Concealer to help just bring a little bit of brightness to the eye area, and you just put a little bit in the inner corners and then blend it out. I'm using a really light foundation today. This is the Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Powder Foundation, and you can use this wet or dry, but I really love this because it gives great coverage, but it still looks super natural, and some of your imperfections may still show through but I actually kind of like that because it doesn't look like you're wearing a ton of makeup and we're all human and we have blemishes and little spots and stuff and it's okay if they show through. Filling in my brows with my Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil and honestly sometimes when I don't wear any other makeup I'll just fill in my brows and then use the Benefit Gimme Brow to keep it all in place. On my eyes, I've been using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance in Champagne, and I've been loving this because it has a little bit of shimmer and it stays in place, so it's not gonna budge throughout your flight. For a highlight, I'm going to be using the NYX Hot Singles Eyeshadow in Champagne Luster. This eyeshadow is super pigmented, easy to blend, buildable, and it just looks awesome and brings more light to your eyes and makes you look awake, even if you don't feel awake. So if you're interested in this, I'm gonna have a link down below to ipsy.com where you can find this product and some of the other stuff that I'm using in this video. Then coming in and curling my lashes and I'm using a new eyelash curler. This one is from Shiseido and it's my new fave. It works even better than the Shu Uemura one. It is amazing. For mascara, I'm using Urban Decay's Perversion and this stuff is so amazing because it's super duper black. It adds a ton of volume and really lengthens your lashes. Can you guess what blush I'm using? That's right. Target captivating blush because it's just the best. And on my lips, I'm keeping it nice and simple with the Kaylin Art Touch Tinted Lip Gloss in Basic Instinct. I can't even tell you guys how much I love this lip gloss. The color payoff is incredible. It's really smooth and hydrating. So it's basically the perfect thing to wear, especially if you're gonna be traveling. And on my nails, I'm wearing the Pacifica Nail Polish in Red Red Wine. This formula is fantastic. It's gonna wear for a really long time, which is great when you're traveling. It has a wide brush on it, so it's easy to apply and the color is just really pretty for fall. Okay, now let's figure out what to wear. First and foremost, I always like to be comfortable. So I'm picking this flannel top from Madewell and this is really snuggly, it's not gonna wrinkle, and it's gonna keep me warm on the plane. And you can throw on a t-shirt underneath, so if you get hot, you can take off the flannel. Now leggings are always a great choice for travel, but today I'm going with these stretchy jeans from Madewell. These are so forgiving, they really flex with your body, they're really comfortable, and they just look really cool because they almost look like leather, but they feel like you have leggings on. And don't forget to show your feet some love because they need to be comfy too. So I'm going with my van slip-ons because these are just the best. So this is what everything looks like together, and if you're wondering how I did my hair, I have a tutorial on this messy bun. It literally takes no time at all, so I'm gonna have a link down below for you guys. Now that our look is complete, let's make sure that everything that we need is in our bag. So I like carrying a backpack because it just frees up your hands 
hands more. So inside my little beauty bag here, I have a bunch of my mini essentials. I have this Mitchell and Peach hand cream, which first of all smells incredible. This is gonna help soften and nourish your skin on the plane. It has natural oils and it's not greasy, so it absorbs super fast. I also have my powder just in case I get shiny, my lip gloss in case I need to touch up my lip color, a lip balm because you never know when your lips are gonna start feeling chapped, hand sanitizer to keep those germs away, a mini bottle of your favorite perfume so you can spritz yourself down when you get off the plane, and it's always a good idea to have some floss and breath mints just so you feel extra fresh. I always get the most reading done whenever I travel, so I gotta bring Delirium with me because I am freaking obsessed with this book right now. It is so good. My little beauty bag is all packed, so into my backpack it goes. As far as everything else goes, of course, I have to bring my laptop, and then I usually have chargers and things like that with me, and I like using little gear ties to keep the cords from flying everywhere, because that can just turn into a crazy disaster. And then I have a little pouch with my headphones in it, and that is pretty much it. So now I am ready to jump on my flight, and I am doing a ton of traveling this month, so I have my system down. And I hope this was helpful for you guys. So I'll see you in my next video. Or if you'd like to see what I've been up to in New York City, I've been vlogging. So I will have my most recent vlog linked here for you guys, as well as my last video in case you missed it. So you can see what my life in New York City has been like. I've been loving it here. New York City, you are freaking amazing. And I love you. And I'm gonna get going now. So goodbye.